Yo, should I be a star? Baby, I think I already are Not a saint, not a great Feel like I was born in car If you can't see me Then find the helicopter And the nice guy shot like a star And I'm back with the madness I'm a champion Of the people who don't believe in champions I got nothing but dreams I got nothing but dreams Young enough not to know what to believe in Young enough not to know what to believe in If I can live through the years If I can live through the years If I can live half with the long stride And I can do anything If I can live through this If I can live through this Hey there, golfers. Thank you for tuning in to the 2021 Golden Goldies. It's been a unique year, and each and every one of you should be very proud of the obstacles you overcame and the sacrifices you made in order to compete this season. We're excited to celebrate all of your successes and achievements during today's show. My name is Mike Grimm, and I'm the voice of Gopher football and Gopher men's basketball, and I'm thrilled to join you once again for this great celebration and look forward to honoring our award recipients throughout the show. To kick off our virtual event, please enjoy this message from Athletic Director Mark Coyle. Hi, I'm Mark Coyle, Athletic Director here at the University of Minnesota, and I want to welcome you to the 2021 Golden Goldies. I hope you know how much I appreciate your hard work and everything you all accomplished this past year. No doubt this has been a year unlike anything we've ever seen before, and I'm so proud of the three Big Ten championships that you won. I'm proud of the seven individual NCAA championships that you won, and I'm proud that you continue to be one of the highest rated schools in the country with respect to student athlete academic success. So again, welcome to the Golden Goldies and thank you for everything you do to make Gopher Athletics so special. Thank you and go Gophers.
goes down in history as one of the most talented athletes ever in the NCAA. With the riding time point, it will be a major decision. 12-4 for Abel Stevenson. Now a two-time Big place. Ten champion for Winner the Golden Gophers. And your gold medalist with a time of 50-59, an A standard time, and just four tenths of a second off the Big Ten meet record, a junior from Minnesota, Maxwell McHugh. So heft by one thousandth of a second. They're off for 60 meters. Decent start for Young over lane one. Walker, not bad. Lane two push from Robbins. Now right down the middle, lane four. It looks like the winner's going to Young for Minnesota. Minnesota's Young. Yeah, it looked like. Looked like Amiri Young had it there. Ken, not only overtaking, but doing it in comfort. Shaq wins the gold medal, the women's 600 meters. She put her hands up. She knew that was a record-breaking performance. And Minnesota gets the lead in their first Big Ten title in the women's distance medley. She hugs her twin sister, Megan, and wins the women's 3,000 meters. Allison Garaz of Minnesota had herself a stellar day. Look at that elation on her face. It's away from a title. They will cruise to a 4x400 four title and a big 10. The Gophers started the day with five champions at heavyweight. And heavyweight, you adds another one. Gable Stevenson, a national champion. difference, but I tell you what, Shane Wiskus came into these national championships, turned to them and this crowd and said, you will not forget. Sarah Bacon, she wins her third consecutive one meter title for her second title of this meet. The Gophers are golden indeed. McHugh takes the 100 and the 200 breaststroke. Before we start recognizing our award winners, we'd first like to honor our 2020-21 senior class. Thank you for all you've done in the maroon and gold, and congratulations on all that you've accomplished in your sport and in the classroom. Let's get started with our first awards. The Big Ten Medal of Honor is the conference's most exclusive award and the first of its kind in intercollegiate athletics. The Big Ten Medal of Honor recognizes both academic and athletic excellence and was first awarded in 1915 to one student athlete from the graduating class from each university who had attained the greatest proficiency in athletics and scholastic work. Across the Big Ten, only 28 student athletes earn this prestigious award on an annual basis. Congratulations to this year's Big Ten Medal of Honor recipients, Sarah Bacon, women's swimming and diving, and Jack LaFontaine, men's hockey. Thank you to the University of Minnesota and my coach, Gwembo Chen, for giving me a great long four years at this amazing university. It is an honor to add the Big Ten Medal of Honor to my resume and to be part of many other Gopher greats, both male and female. I would first and foremost want to give a shout out to all the Gopher athletes for focusing up and getting through the toughest year the NCAA has ever seen with college athletics. We can all feel each other's pain of waking up for a morning lift or heading to a difficult practice to not even be guaranteed a chance to compete down the road. Yet we found the competitor in us to go out there and fight. A handful of athletes that went above and beyond throughout their career that deserve special recognition are Honda Awards finalist Lexi Ramler and Stephanie Samity, and national champions Gable Stevenson, Shane Wiskus, and Max McHugh. Great job, guys. 
Second, I would like to thank my coach, Wembo, for giving me hope and helping me push myself to the next level. As some of you may know, I do not look the same as I did my freshman year in 2016 that came from many different lifestyle changes I made to push myself to the next level and it's something I am very proud of. However, if it was not for Wembo giving me hope and pushing me harder than I ever thought I could, I would not be receiving this award today. Thank you, Wembo. As athletes, we are looked at by fans for two hours on the TV, but we all know that is such a small fraction of our lives. Many don't understand the hustle of waking up early for morning lifts, going to two to three classes, heading straight to practice, going home and finishing schoolwork and studying for the next day. I want to give a shout out to all the academic advisors that helped relieve some of the stress as we have as student athletes. I am extremely grateful to not only be recognized for my athletic performance, but also my academic success. Thank you for an amazing four years. I'm blessed to call myself a gopher. I'm pleased this year and very proud to accept this year's Big Ten Medal of Honor. Uh, I really appreciate everyone and I'm so grateful for everyone that's been a part of my journey. Uh, specifically, I want to thank my teammates, my coaches and all the staff. Uh, not only with the men's hockey team, but everyone a part of the Minnesota Athletic Department. Um, I know that is a very big honor, but this is, uh, I can't do this without the support of my teammates and my coaches. Um, and I'm so happy to come back for another year because I know we had such a great year last year and I know that we're not only going to improve on it, but uh, with everyone coming back with fans and life going back to normal, I know everything is looking up for the Gopher hockey team. So thank you very much again, and I really appreciate all the support, and I'm very proud for uh, to be a Gopher. And now please welcome JT Bruett as we acknowledge many academic achievements from the 2020-21 season. Hello, my name is JT Bruett. I'm the director of Lindahl Academic Center for Student Athletes. I wanna welcome everybody to the 2021 Golden Goldies. While I wish we were back in person, I do want to take a moment to say congratulations to all student athletes and staff for making it through this tremendously difficult year. Very proud of what the student athletes have accomplished over this past year. I do want to get a special shout out to my Lindahl Academic Center staff as well for doing a tremendous job over the past fall and spring. Congratulations to all the winners. Can't wait to see everybody back in person next fall. Go Gophers. The Tom H. Swain Award is given to individuals who are constantly working behind the scenes to make sure student athletes have everything they need to be successful. The Lindahl Academic Center and the Athletic Department work very closely with several different offices on campus to ensure this happening. This year, we would like to honor Dr. Perry Leo, our Athletic Department's faculty representative, and Heidi Meyer, the Executive Director of the Office of Admissions with the 2021 Tom H. Swain Campus Recognition Awards. Hi everyone, I'm Perry Leo. I've been faculty athletics rep for the last 12 years and I'm ending my term at the end of June. Uh, it's been an honor to work with Gopher Athletics and it's been an honor, it, it is an honor to accept the Tom H. Swain Campus Partner Award. Uh, it's been a real privilege for me to work with Gopher Athletics for the last 12 plus years and I want to thank everybody for giving me this award. Uh, from the athletic director to the student athletes to the Lindell Academic Center to compliance to all the staff that work so hard uh, to make Gopher Athletics the success it is. So thank you again, Skyuma, and go Gophers. The Maroon and Gold is pleased to honor one of the all-time greats as she approaches retirement after 44 seasons with the swimming and diving programs. Coach Terry Ganley has helped lead the Golden Gophers to seven Big Ten championships and 17 NCAA top 15 finishes. On her watch, the Golden Gophers have won 15 individual national titles, 147 Big Ten championship titles, and have earned All-America honors 299 times. The Gophers salute Gopher great Coach Terry Ganley. Dear Terry, dear Terry, dear Terry, dear Terry, dear Terry, dear Terry, dear Terry. Congratulations on your retirement and on your incredible coaching career. Terry, you taught me to be strong mentally and physically in and out of the water. And I only ever wanted to make you proud of not only my swimming, but me as a person. Please know that you have touched the lives of thousands of student athletes. We're all better because you are part of our lives. 
Through the highs of winning Big Tens to the lows of sets such as 8175s, we always loved being Gophers. Thank you for leaving the University of Minnesota so much better than it was prior to your arrival. You are truly an icon in the world of Minnesota sports, in the swimming world, and what you have done for women's athletics is absolutely incredible. Whether it was stand-ups, finals week, or one of your iconic kick sets that left our legs feeling like jelly, you were always ready with a quick joke to remind us never to take anything too seriously. She always brightened your day with some sort of sarcastic comment towards you to roast you. And no matter what it was, no matter what kind of day you were having, that always made your day better and made you smile. And who knows what I was whining about. I'm a sprinter. I complain about everything. And uh, you made some comment to me and it took me like the next 50 yards to even get that you just slammed me so hard. I just had to start laughing. But what was most important to me is that you always believed in me, even if I couldn't always believe in myself. Your meaningful impact on the team will stretch far beyond your time as a swimmer and a coach, and I will carry the lessons I learned from you for a lifetime. For making every swimmer, point scorer or not, feel seen and important, and for just being the epitome of a role model. So much layered in history every time um, previous alums would come back to a meet. It was such a, a focus of how this history of the University of Minnesota swimming and diving team was important. And without saying it, you taught us that while showing up is half the battle, showing up and doing it well makes you reliable, trustworthy, and honorable. Here's the queen herself wearing those goofy glasses giving me some eyes and someone got it on camera. Um, you always made sure that we looked good and always had some witty one-liners that kept us on our toes. Uh, you're, you're incredible. You are inspiring and you really helped all of the women on the team feel like they could accomplish their goals. You brought great people together. Probably because you're so great. And congrats on your retirement. Will you relax now? Thank you for these last three years and I hope that I can carry on the legacy that you left at Minnesota. So many fun memories of you on deck, you and Jean in the hotel rooms, and just listening to your stories of what it was like back in the day, and just hearing your stories of, you know, how much the sport and Title IX had changed since the 70s. And Terry, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank, you. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. Thank, thank you, Terry. Thank thank you, Terry. Terry. <laughs>The Richard Pinckney McNamara Student Athlete Achievement Award is presented annually to the golfers who showed perseverance and strength when overcoming obstacles during their athletic career. This past season was not an easy path for anyone, and we're proud of our student athletes' dedication and determination. This year, we're pleased to present all Golden Gopher student athletes with the 2021 Richard Pinckney McNamara Student Athlete Achievement Award. Congratulations on another outstanding year, Gophers. As we all know, this year is far from normal. Seasons were truncated, training was interrupted, and almost everything was virtual, so we had to juggle a lot of unknowns. However, despite all the hurdles that we faced, we persisted and made it through with flying colors. It is for this perseverance that we as SAC board executive members are honored to accept the Pinky McNamara Award on behalf of all of our fellow student athletes. It is also a great honor to be able to train, compete, and study surrounded by such outstanding individuals. Our collective passion for excellence enables us to overcome adversity and find success in the classroom and in our sport and everywhere in between. This year's accomplishments would not have been made possible without the unconditional support that we are so fortunate to have. With that being said, we would like to thank all athletic department faculty, from coaches to admin, to support staff and advisors. We would also like to specifically thank Joy Thomas and all of the athletic trainers, team doctors, and COVID test administrators for their increased roles and responsibilities this year. You've all poured in so much time and energy behind the scenes, which has allowed us to have had the opportunities that we did have this year. Your hard work certainly does not go unnoticed by us and is greatly appreciated.
Despite the difficulties that we faced this year in navigating the virtual platform, our athletic department was able to walk away with its highest ever recorded GPA. Awesome job, Gophers. We are so grateful for the opportunity to rep the M both on the field and in the classroom. We would like to commend each and every one of you for both your individual and collective efforts this year and your ability to rise above the unfavorable circumstances while staying optimistic. The integrity of this athletic department is completely unparalleled. While the 2020-2021 season and academic year has been memorable and a true testament to the adaptability and resilience of student athletes, we hope for bigger and better things in a return to normalcy in the year 2021 to 2022. Together get into it, into it, into it, into it, into it. We move as a unit, we move as a squad. We all in together now, that's on God. Tried and true teamwork, make the dream work. Running Boston's on the ops, that's some mean work. We for sure shine when we form like Voltron. When it's go time, we go hard, we don't slow down. Dealing with us, be sure to cross no lines. We keep ten toes down. That's how we keep it, we bring the fight, fight. Anytime we need it, squad on my left, left, squad on my right, we side by side, side. ready to ignite. Night. That's what it is. is, that's what it's gonna be with the realist. We shake all the wanna be circle stays. The teammate of the year Golden Goldie is given to an individual or a group who provides support and goes above and beyond for our student athletes. This year's Teammate of the Year Award is presented to the individuals who committed hours upon hours to ensure a safe environment for our student athletes during the COVID-19 pandemic. Led by Executive Associate Athletic Director of Health and Performance, Joy Thomas, our athletic trainers, COVID testing nurses, and COVID testing scheduling teams were an essential part to the department's operation and success during the 2020-2021 season. We're pleased to present the 2021 Teammate of the Year Golden Goldie to this group and appreciate their ongoing dedication to our student athletes and our programs. Hi Gophers. On behalf of all the nurses, athletic trainers, and those that help schedule, thank you for the Teammate of the Year Award. A lot of people worked really hard to get you back on the field, the mat, the court, and the water. But also, a thank you to you for all of your hard work this year and for always treating all of our nurses with kindness and respect. You've made Gopher fans out of the entire nursing staff. Thank you again, and go Gophers. Thank you. Thank you, we love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Gladys Brooks and Norman Borlaug Commitment to Academic Excellence Awards are given annually to recognize a women's and men's athletic team that have demonstrated the highest level of commitment to academic excellence. This year, the Gladys Brooks Commitment to Academic Excellence Award goes to the women's basketball team. And the Norman Borlaug Commitment to Academic Excellence Award goes to the men's golf team. Congratulations to these two programs on their successes in the classroom this year. Hello, I'm Lindsay Whalen, head coach of the Gopher women's basketball team here at the University of Minnesota. And I have the privilege of accepting the Gladys Brooks Commitment to Excellence Award on behalf of my team. And I am extremely honored to accept this um, for their dedication um, to the classroom. And in a year of a pandemic, nonetheless, our women showed a tremendous um, amount of resiliency and perseverance through these tough times. I would also like to thank Chris Kord, our wonderful academic advisor, and Kelly Reisland Curry, who is our academic liaison and staff. Um, but but uh, above all, our, our women uh, for their work that they did and everything they were able to achieve this year. I'd also like to thank the faculty oversight committee um, for, for selecting women's basketball, who truly deserves this award. So thank you and go Gophers. Hey everyone, this is Justin Smith, men's head golf coach from location of the Big Ten Championship. I'm incredibly honored and excited to accept this award for our program. Norm Borlaug Award has been incredibly special to us. I can't thank our student athletes enough for their, their commitment to the classroom. I want to thank Jackie Hope, our academic advisor, JT Bruitt, 
Mike Wiersbicki, our sport admin, our entire university, our athletic administration, and more importantly, these student athletes for their commitment to the classroom and the incredible achievements they've made. Yeah, we couldn't be more excited as a team to accept this award. Go Gophers! This season, events in our community gave us reason to pause and reflect, to grieve, and to come together to create a safer and more just Minnesota for everyone. As part of our efforts to further the conversation and education about social injustice, we were incredibly proud of our student athletes, our coaches, and staff who utilize their voices and platform to be agents of change. Sing me a song of revolution, marching like fire over the world. Weaving from the earth its bright red banner. For the hands of the masses to unfurl. Sing me a song of the revolution, drowning the past with a thunderous shout. Filled with strength of youth and laughter. And never an echo of doubt. Almighty oh, roll of revolution, ending centuries of bloody strife. Ending the tricks of kings and lies, big with laughter of new life. Break the bonds of a darker races. Break the chains that have held for years. Break the barriers dividing people, smashing God of terror and terrors. Cutting old flame of revolution, fear from the world like a surgeon's knife, so that the children of all creations awaken at last to the joy of life. It's time now to award this year's Big Ten Postgraduate Scholarship. Two students competing in intercollegiate athletics from each of the 14 Big Ten institutions who plan to continue their education at a graduate degree program are awarded a $7,500 scholarship based on primarily academic achievements. Sarah Bacon, women's swimming and diving, and Jack LaFontaine, men's hockey. The Lindahl Academic Center Outstanding Student Athlete Achievement Award is presented to Golden Gopher student athletes in honor of their successes, both in the classroom and in their respective sports. This year's recipients are Bethany Haas, women's track and cross country, Lexi Ramler, women's gymnastics, and Jack LaFontaine, men's hockey. Thank you for the award of Outstanding Female Student Athlete. I'm so appreciative of everything that the Lindell Academic Center has done for myself as well as for other student athletes. If I do have any advice, it would be know what's important to you and ask for support if you need it. Thank you so much again, and I'm so honored. I'd like to thank everyone that was involved and everyone that uh, voted. Uh, for me personally, I, I really appreciate the support and the acknowledgement but uh, on top of that, I'd like to thank my teammates, my coaches, uh, and my phenomenal uh, academic counselor, Chris Cords, uh, for helping uh, guide, uh, guide me through my two years at Minnesota, especially this pandemic year. Um, and if there's one piece of advice I could give to any new gopher or any struggling gopher in academics is uh, to just put your head down and Trust, uh, trust your upperclassmen and trust your academic counselors because they've seen it all and um, I can genuinely say that everyone uh, at the University of Minnesota just wants what's best for, what's best for you. So um, that's the greatest thing about being a gopher and that's the one piece of advice I would give. And again, I'd like to just say thank you to everyone at Minnesota, those involved with the award, my coaches, uh, and especially my teammates who are by far the most important uh, people in my life. Congratulations to all of you for another incredible year. As we close out today's show, let's take a look back at our great year. And once again, congratulations to all of our 2021 winners, Sky Uma and Go Gophers. And oh my, Haas has the kick at the end, and Haas will win it for Minnesota. 2021 Big Ten Tournament Champions, the University of Minnesota Golden Gophers. Shank wins.
the gold medal, the women's 600 meters. She knew that was a record-breaking performance. And that fires, and Paul oh, makes the stop in Minnesota. Lexi Rambler goes down in history as one of the most talented athletes ever in the NCAA. The NCAA champion, Max McHugh of Minnesota. The Gophers are golden indeed. McHugh takes the 100 and the 200 breaststroke. Long stride run, half with the long stride. So halved by one thousandth of a second. Franzen in on goal, and she scores! Young looks strong, wow, gliding home to a gold medal finish. Make that two Big Ten titles for Amira Young. Powell left wing, loads, fires the three, hits. This is Cam Wiley and he sprints into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Here is Anna Loper. Do you know how hard it is to make gymnastics look easy? And that's what Loper does every time. Sarah Bacon, she wins her third consecutive one meter title. Now Sarah Bacon, who is the leader looking for her second title of this meet. Piece of cake. Allison Garage of Minnesota had herself a stellar day. Look at that elation. Gable Stevenson. Now a two-time Big place. Ten champion for the Golden Gophers. Gable Stevenson, a national champion. It's Gable Stevenson. 2020 Olympian for the United States. He's headed to Tokyo. In the corner, Johnson going to try another one. Brandon Johnson leads to a turnover. Robbins fills the lane. Take that. Back swing from Samity and, and Lanfair with the attack, and she puts it away. with the swing and the kill. Cleveland can't find the floor, now it'll be Samity. She does. This one again, hit by Den Hartog, deep and gone. Home run for the Gophers. She hugs her twin sister, Megan, and wins the women's 3,000 meters. Corner of the end zone and it's caught! Was he in? Yes, what a grab, touchdown! And Minnesota gets the lead in their first Big Ten title in the women's distance medley. Minnesota gets the trophy from Wendy Fallon from the Big Ten, and they are your Big Ten champions. They will cruise to a 4x400 four four title and a Big Ten title for the Minnesota Golden Gophers women's indoor track and field team. And that's how you want to finish it. Oh, that landing right there might be the difference, but I tell you what, Shane Wiskus came into these national championships, turned to them and this crowd and said, you will not forget 